हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज रिशाली एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस अबाउट डिफरेंट नेटवर्क टाइप्स स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड आर्किटेक्चर्स विथ एग्जाम्पल आई हैव मैंशन अ कम्प्लीट कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क सिक्योरिटी सब्जेक्ट प्ले लिस्ट लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज ओ एस आई मॉडल लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू शुड लर्न अबाउट डिफरेंट लेयर्स ऑफ ओ एस आई मॉडल्स and at the end we will discuss some question bank that will be helpful for your university examination now the first point is what exactly osi model osi stands for open system interconnection this model developed by iso that is international organization for standardization in 1984 osi model has total 7 layers each layer having their own specific functionality now why osi model is used see in network there are multiple devices all the devices are connected with each other one device send information to another device so at that time there is a proper communication between sender and the receiver so this communication is accurately and smoothly performed by the osi model they send or accurate information over the internet now this osi model has total 7 layers first three layer that is physical layer data link layer and network layer are called as hardware layers the last three layers that is application layer presentation layer and session layer are called as software layers in the mid there is transport layer called as heart of osi model because they connect all the software layers to the hardware layers when sender send a message they use 7 to 1 in that sequence all these layers and when receiver receive the message they use 1 to 7 in that sequence all these layers of osi model now let discuss all these layers in detail now from sender side the first layer is application layer see in your daily life you have used different social applications like whatsapp facebook instagram or you have used different browsers like chrome firefox then different gaming applications right means you interact with that software so this is called as application layer user directly interact with that software application layer generally produce the data and send this data over the network for example by using whatsapp when you sending a message that is hi how are you so this message or this screen is your application layer just take some another example when one device sending file to another device at that time ftp protocol is used that is file transfer protocol when you search something on the internet that is http www.google.com so http protocol is used for providing smooth communication between client and the server next when one device sending email to another device at that time smtp protocol is used that is simple mail transfer protocol and when you use different virtual terminals at that time telnet protocol is used so basically application layer provide all these protocols for handling communication between client and the server now the next is presentation layer so application layer send hi how are you this message to the presentation layer okay now presentation layer having total three functionality translation data compression and encryption and decryption so hi how are you this message is understandable by the sender only because which is in english language but machine understand the binary language so presentation layer convert this message into the machine understandable format that is binary language in 0101 format next functionality is data compression presentation layer reduce the number of bits in particular file and they reduce the size of the file because they perform the fast communication between client and the server the best example is zip file when you zip a particular folder their size will get reduced right this data compression technique is important when you sending multimedia when you send audio video the large no size of file towards the internet the next functionality is encryption and decryption basically presentation layer maintain the privacy over the network encryption means sender send a particular message so encryption technique convert this message into the another format receiver receive those message 
then decryption technique decrypt those particular message into the original format for that purpose this ssl and secure layer secure socket layer protocol is used so basically presentation layer provide translation data compression and encryption decryption techniques now the next one is the session layer here presentation layer provide binary language of particular message to the session layer session layer having also three functionality session management authentication and authorization so basically session management provide proper connection between client and the receiver they establish a connection between client and the server by using net bios and pptp protocols next one is the authentication see there are some websites some applications they having a proper username and password for example banking applications right when you enter a correct username and password then only you can access those functionality so this is called as authentication session layer check the authentication of particular user if there is authenticated user then only they access a particular functionality and last one is a authorization authorization means only authorized users having the permission to access a particular resources particular functionality or to download a particular file for example your college management application teachers having the authority to edit the attendance right or to fill the attendance but students having the authority to only view that attendance so this is called as authorization otherwise they display the error you are not authorized person to access this file so basically session layer provides three functionality session management authentication and authorization now the next one is a transport layer here session layer establish the connection between client and the server they check authorized user and again send this message to the transport layer transport layer having total three tech functionalities segmentation flow control and error control segmentation means whatever the data received by, from the sender they divide those data into the smaller unit which is called as segments means hi how are you there are multiple datas are there right so divide those data into the smaller units and after dividing it it generate a particular segment see here this is a segmentation in segmentation they add sequence number port number and your data unit now what is port number see uh, when you use a particular browser like uh, google chrome or firefox means you use a particular website then your port number is 80 this is the by default port number okay means http has a 80 port number when you send mail from one device to another device so at that time the port number is 25 and when you sending file to another device at that time that is file transfer protocol the port number is 20 means according the functionality they add the port number in your segments okay so your message divided into the multiple units they add sequence number the message sequence port number and your message next one is a flow control flow control means there are lots of amount of data have transferred in network right so transport layer manage the flow means how much information is sent for between client and the server and what is the speed of sending the information this is called as flow control now error control sometimes what happen a particular information doesn't arrive at the destination okay means receiver didn't get the proper information so at that time transport layer help of automatic repeat request scheme they retransmit those data or they retransmit those lost or corrupted data okay and at the end they ensure that a particular data particular message reach at the destination without any error so this is called as transport layer they segmentation they add port number sequence number data units uh, under the multiple segments then flow control and error control next now this transport layer used two main protocols that is tcp and udp at the exam point of view this is one of the most important question that is difference between tcp and udp protocol see here tcp stands for transmission control protocol udp stands for user datagram protocol so tcp which is called as connection oriented protocol why see 
when sender send a particular message to the receiver so tcp protocol take a feedback or they there is a guarantee the particular data is received at destination size and receiver receive those data that's why it is a reliable protocol on the another side udp is a connection less transmission which is faster than tcp but it does not take any feedback from the receiver that particular information is reach towards the destination or not that's why this is not reliable protocol in tcp data sequencing take place means all the information reach in particular sequence there is a no data sequencing tcp protocol perform error checking and recovering if there any error or not if there is any error they perform the error recovery in udp there is only basic error checking no recovery is there now the best example of tcp protocol is when you search something on the internet means internet give you a proper result right they give you a proper information next is email day delivery one device send information to email to another device then file transfer so for that purpose tcp protocol is used and examples of udp protocols are online streaming movies songs then online games then voice over notes these are the examples of udp so this both protocols are used in transport layer for communication purpose now the next layer is network layer see here application layer send message hi how are you to the presentation layer presentation layer convert is in binary format session layer maintain the connection and check authority of the user then transport layer divide those message into the multiple units called as segmentation okay now this segment is sent to the network layer in network layer they add ip address in that segment that's why here it called as packet okay now network layer is work on when two devices located in different networks how see here basically network layers having a uh, two functionality that is logical addressing and routing see here this is network 1 and this is network 2 in this network 1 there is only one pc the a pc is there that is sender and this sender send to information to the network 2 this b pc okay so every computer having their own unique address and this address is called as ip address okay so this is called as logical addressing network layer add ip address of sender and ip address of receiver in that particular packet now what is routing see here the ip address of this a pc is 192.168.2.1 okay and ip address of this b pc is 192.168.4.1 now what happen senders want to send information to the this pc so sender add destination pc ip address like 192.168.4.1 okay when sender send this packet to the network 1 and there is a router so router check the network address okay so this first three number like 192 168 and 4 this is a network 2 address okay and this one is called as this pc address or host address so this router understand that first three digit means this message want to send into network 2 and one means this one address in that particular pc so in this way routing find the best physical path and they send the packets to the approximate destination by using ip address clear so this is a work of network layer now another functionality of network layer is path determination so path determination means two devices connected in network in multiple ways okay so choosing the best possible path which is called as path determination see here this is sender and this is receiver sender having their ip address and receiver pc also having their own unique ip address okay so sender send message to that receiver so there are multiple paths okay so they finding the shortest path means fastly a particular data sent towards the receiver so for that purpose they use different protocols like open shortest path first border gateway protocol link state routing protocol and distance vector protocols i think in data structure you should learn about shortest path algorithm right there is a prims algorithm kruskal algorithms so this technique is used here to finding the shortest path between sender and the receiver 
so this is called as network layer now the next one is a data link layer so basically this network layer send packets to the data link layer so where ip address is stored now what is the work of data link layer c see there are uh, multiple devices are connected with each other through some wired cable or through some wireless devices we already discussed transmission media in previous session right so data link layer provide a functionality of framing and physical addressing now what exactly it is see network layer send packet to the data link layer so data link layer add in that packet some header and trailer and in data link layer this packet is called as frame see now what is header and trailer see there is a sender pc and receiver pc so each pc each computer having their mac address what is mac address see at the time of computer manufacturing there is a network interface card is installed on each computer so on that network interface card there is 12 digit alpha numeric number so which is called as mac address so mac address is physical address of that computer which is also called as hardware address and ip address is called as software address clear so what happen here see in this image frame add receiver mac address and sender mac address in network layer packet add receiver ip address and sender ip address and in transport layer there is a segmentation they add port number right so this is called as physical addressing they add physical address that is mac address of each pc in that particular packet now it is become frame in data link layer now data link layer also provide a functionality flow control and error control they maintain the speed of data transmission between sender and receiver then if any errors are occur then receiver send a acknowledgement for the sender to retransmit the data right and last one is a media access control see there are two or more devices using a same communication channel for example there is a coaxial cable so two or more devices use a same coaxial cable for data transmitting purpose so media access control check out all this communication and try to take that there is no any collision is occur okay means one device used the particular cable at the same time for transmitting information purpose which is called as media access control they try to ensure that there is no collision and collapse are occur data link layer use different protocols for performing all this functionality like point to point protocol link control protocol synchronous data link protocol high level data link protocol and network control protocols now the last one is a physical layer now this data link layer send this frames towards the physical layer physical layer is the last layer in osi model so your data when you send hi how are you this message is in the binary format like 0101 format okay now this physical layer convert this data into the signals how see there are multiple devices some devices connect to it to some wire like coaxial cable twisted cable optical fiber cables are used or some devices connected to wireless means you can connect different devices through wifi Uh, through hotspot through some radio waves right so physical layer check the mode of the transmission and according to that they generate the signals see suppose there is a coaxial cable is used for one device to another device data transmission purpose so they send the signals bit by bit mode if there is a optical fiber cable is connected between two devices then send the signal in the form of lights suppose there are radio waves between two devices so they send this signal through the air in wireless format right so this is called as physical layer they convert all this information bits into the signals and send information according the particular transmission medias now here see there is a complete overview of osi model here sender here application layer sender send a message hello presentation layer convert this message in binary format session layer establish the connection between client and the server uh, sender and the receiver transport layer generate the segment like sequence number port number and the data now in network layer they generate the packet that is ip1 source ip address destination ip address and this segment data now in data link layer which is called as frame 
your MAC address of sender PC, MAC address of receiver PC, this all packet information and there is a FCS means any error is occur or not bit is there. And now last one is a physical layer that is bits format. This is your actual information. So physical layer send this information into the signals as per the transmission media. And this information is received to the receiver that is hello. This is a message from sender to receiver. And this all operations are performed within a second. Now again receiver send this info reply to the sender. Now this all layers are performed again. So this is called as OSI model. Now as per your previous year question paper. See draw and explain OSI model. This is one of the most important question for 8 marks. Then list and explain functions of network layer and transport layer for 6 marks and difference between TCP and UDP for 6 marks. So you have to prepare all these questions. These all are the compulsory questions. So thank you. This is all about OSI model. Keep learning.